though I'm still processing the amount of heat we pulled out of these 65 booster packs of Stellar Crown. So if you want to accuse this video or accuse me of being fake, I don't blame you because we, we just pulled, we pulled so much crazy stuff, it, it's insane. Enter the giveaway for all the promo cards in today's video. Comment down below what decks you're looking forward to building in this set or what chase cards you're going to be hunting. Grab a snack, grab a drink. It's going to be a long one. We're going to start off warming up with the booster bundle right here. We got our Gengar pin to help us slice open this box. I do miss the older boxes they used to use that were like the shape of a deck box because I enjoyed using them as deck boxes. You can't really use these as a deck box and you can see oh, oh, the packs are coming out on the back side. There we go. Like usual, we got six booster packs in total from the booster bundle. We got the Lapras pack art. We'll just take a second to look at the pack arts real quick. The Cinderace, Lapras, Garvantula. I think my favorite's got to be the Cinderace. And of course, since we're opening up every single Stellar Crown item, you'll be able to see what the pull rates are kind of like, at least from my side of things. And you can compare them with yours if you ended up opening up a bunch of Stellar Crown as well. All right, oh, Flittle, there we go. I'm so excited to play Espathra. I hope it does well for me at the Baltimore Regionals. All right, we got Lapras. Ooh, Grand Tree to kick things off. Nice, an A-Spec off the rip. Ooh, and a Lydian as well. It just gets better and better. And a Noctowl. Well, hey, this was a fire pack right there. All very, very, okay, I don't know about the Lydian being playable, but Grand Tree, this card is gonna sneak its way, not even sneak its way, it could be a MVP card in Miascarada, a lot of other stage two decks, so Grand Tree, very happy we got that. The Noctowl is also super, super playable as well for quite a few decks. The ability it has, Jewel Seeker, is very, very strong. And let's just take a second to look at that Ledian right there. It's a pretty nice looking Ledian. So some first pack magic, you'll love to see it. And also there's a new energy design. I actually really, really like this design for the energies. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if I don't ask you a bajillion other different questions throughout the video. But very happy about that. And uh, we are gonna be giving away all the code cards in this uh, video over on my Instagram or Twitter. So we'll do a giveaway for these codes. There's 65 codes in total. So you'll be able to redeem a whole bunch of packs online so one lucky person is going to be able to uh to get a bunch of credits or just open a bunch of online packs as well and a cling clang hollow rare so if you want a chance at a bunch of code cards you can check me out over on instagram and on twitter i'll have my uh links in the description down below and i'll have them pop up on screen as well and just like i do for every regionals we'll be updating my uh my like round by round rankings you could say my tournament over on Twitter and Instagram too. Oh, nice, a Zera Aura illustration rare. This was a big chase card for me for this set. This artwork is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. What's behind it? We got the Dreadnought Hollow. Yo, that Zera Aura is gorgeous. This is also a card I am thinking about playing in my, uh, one of my versions of the Maraidon deck I'll be playing. Um, it could go well with like the uh, the Raikou V version of the build where you really build out your bench and do more damage based off how much Pokemon you have on the field. The attack that it has, Combat Thunder, is basically the same attack that, uh, that Raikou V has, Lightning Rondo. Same attack cost, I believe, and same exact effect and uh, base damage. So very happy we got this Zera Aura. Uh, it's going to go straight into my deck if I do end up using it for my uh, for my game. So our luck has been pretty good so far. I cannot complain about the booster bundle pull rates. Pull rates for booster bundles have typically been really, really good for me. I'm kind of biased towards them. I've pulled so many alt arts and special illustration rares from them. So they're usually my go-to product to buy when I do buy Pokemon cards. And we got a Mel Metal Hollow Rare. I just miss being able to get that free extra deck box, you know. Because uh, I do like building a lot of decks and you guys will be expecting a lot more deck profile content on the channel. Once I'm back from Baltimore Regionals, we are kicking it into high gear. We're going to try and crank out as much as possible. Glass Trumpet, take this out of your bulk. It's a really, really good trainer card. We got Deancey. Ooh, Area Zero Under Depths, a really good card as well. We got Diplin, Gravity Gemstone. And a Ledian Hollow Rare, the normal, the normal version that you can pull. We're gonna go really, really in depth into the competitive gameplay and the deck profiles on the channel. So if that's something that you're interested in, maybe you're interested in playing the Pokemon trading card game. Um, if we have enough people requesting for it, I'll do a how to build a good Pokemon deck tutorial kind of video, uh, going into the really nitty gritty, the nerdy, nerdy stuff about how to build a consistently strong deck. Here we got Alchemy, we got Meryl, 
and a Archulodon. Archalodon? Archulodon Hollow. It's it's Arch Archalodon, yeah, Archalodon. Some of these Pokemon I don't really know how to pronounce very well. So now that we are warmed up with the uh, the booster bundle, we can open up the Elite Trainer Box, and we're actually gonna take a somewhat detailed look into this because it's gonna be my first and only Stellar Crown Elite Trainer Box. So I'll show you guys all the accessories and stuff that come with it. Here's a look at the Stellar Crown Player's Guide. We'll just open this up real quick. And uh, it'll show you, of course, all the new additions to the trading card game. I really like going through this kind of stuff when you're just like on the bus or in the car doing some light reading. Gets you, uh, gets you well acquainted with all the new cards. It also gives you some of the combinations you might want to use and try out the Pokemon official recommended uh, kind of builds and combos that you can try out. Like here's teaching you the stellar new combos. Very, very punny, very punny Pokemon. Um, but yeah, really just useful to go through these because uh, you don't always see all the combinations of cards and, and stuff that you can make for your decks just uh, only looking at the cards one by one. So having Pokemon kind of laid out for you like this is really useful to uh, just get a more visual visual guide. I know some people are more of a visual learner, so I really enjoy these kind of books, even though you just read them once and you throw them away after that pretty much. But I do know some people like to collect them. And of course you got the entire Stellar Crowns card list right here. So a look at a bunch of the cards you can pull. We of course have Venusaur EX reprinted in the set, which is really strange. I know Blastoise is awesome. So uh, another reprint too, but there's no Charizard. There it is. There's the Blastoise right there. Lapras EX in here. Greninja EX is a re not a reprint, but there's just a bad Greninja EX in here. A bulk Greninja EX, unfortunately. Galvantula is not here, but we'll see it later. Actually, there it is. Yeah, there's the Galvantula EX. So yeah, here's just a quick look at the uh, the cards. Feel free to pause if you would like to. There's uh, quite a decent amount of cards in here. This is a much bigger set compared to Stellar Crown. Again, Stellar Crown was a smaller set since it was a uh, special set. Uh, this one is a full, full, regular kind of Pokemon set. There's your look at some of the Ace Specs. We've got the Deluxe Bomb, the Grand Tree, and then we should be getting to, yep, we should be getting to the hits up next. We have the Ultra Rares, like the Illustration Rare cards. There's a whole bunch of them, a Sparkling Crystal Ace Spec, and uh, the full arts as well, the full art supporters. I really like the fact that they have these like rainbow full art Pokemon cards now, like the borders are rainbow. I wasn't too big of a fan of the hyper rare Pokemon cards that were just like the ultra rare card, but printed in a rainbow variant. I wasn't really not too uh, not too thrilled when I pulled those. Oh, we got the Gulpin. The Gulpin illustration rare looks pretty goofy and funny. I love that. Special illustration rares in the set with the most expensive card in the set, I believe being Terrapagos EX, and then in terms of the uh, the trainers, I believe the Lacy Supporter Special Illustration Rare is the most expensive. The oh, I actually really really like the uh, Hydrapple EX SIR. That's pretty dope. And of course, these are the Build and Battle promos that you can pull. We have a look at the Check Lane Blisters. We're gonna see all these cards in just a moment when we do get to those products. So to start things off, we have the sleeves right here. The uh, Terrapagos sleeves. Did they uh, stay true to keeping it glossy now? Did they get rid of the matte for good? Oh yes, they did. Okay, I'm very, very happy about that. It is that nice glossy finish for the sleeves. So I might just build the Terpagos deck and we'll use these sleeves for it just to keep it all themed and nice. Break of energies. These ones I'm actually gonna keep because I like this design. So we'll probably use it for the newer decks that come from Stellar Crown itself. The generic poison and burn markers. Here's a look at the dice they include. I uh, I actually really like the, uh, the blue die they have for it. It's very nice and easy to read. They have the dividers here and I like that they're packaging their uh, promo cards like this. This is definitely a nice upgrade. Before, you know, the, the card would just be on its own with not much protection other than the plastic, but now they actually use these uh, dividers for pr protection. It's kind of like how I ship my Pokemon cards to people. I really like that. That's that's a good job. I like that detail. Thank you, Pokemon. Keep doing that. Keep on doing that. But uh, let's take a look at the Knock Towel right here. So this Knock Towel was actually a card you could pull from Stellar Miracle, the Japanese version of this set. And I believe it was uh, in, I think, 18th or 17th most expensive card in Stellar Miracle. But they just took it out and made it a promo for this uh, ETB. So here's your look at the Noctowl. 
really, really a beautiful knock towel. The illustration is done by Tetsu Kamiya, I believe. In the bottom left hand, you can see the, uh, the artist's name. And uh, this is a card that actually will have some competitive play. So um, don't think this is a cheap promo by any means. That's going to be just like a dollar. Uh, people will be actually using this card in some decks. So I will be looking for a full play set. Uh, unfortunately, I will be giving this to one of you guys. All the promos, like I said earlier in today's video. So I'll have to hunt down a full play set of these later on. But yeah, there's your look at the Knock Towel code card, which will give you the Knock Towel and the sleeves in the online game. And then we have the dividers out as well for the elite trainer box here's the one design on one side and it looks like they're the exact same designs on both sides. actually no there's like the background is slightly different depending on the side and the terrapagos is actually bigger on one of them all right well now we got nine packs from the stellar crown elite trainer box to get into let's see how this goes for us elite trainer boxes for me they typically don't uh they don't give me my return on investment if you want to buy pokemon packs buying the etb you're paying a slight premium per pack because you're getting all these extra accessories and of course the guaranteed promo so if you're ripping or if you're looking to buy packs i would not recommend buying an elite trainer box but i do i I do recommend buying an elite trainer box to get the full set experience to you know go through the booklet to you know really enjoy each of these small things that come out with the set we got the mewtwo reverse hollow a char cadet ooh, i like this artwork very nice and a mel metal hollow rare i am looking forward to building the armoru seller seller reg Cell I, can't, I can't say these pokemon names man um, there's a cool deck involving those Pokemon from the set as well. I think actually Surging Sparks has a Cellar Edge. I'm not too sure. I have to double check. I think I'm, I'm not. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. All right, we got Turtonator, Toad School, Briar. Very good card. You're gonna want to take this out of your bulk as well. We got Azumarill, Reshiram, Gossiflor, Impim Dimp. Really cool artwork on this one. Oh. And I got the code card in the back and we got the iron boulder hollow rare. This is not a very exciting card to pull. However, the uh, Tomokaze Kamiya in pin dimp artwork is pretty goofy. I like this one a lot, actually. I'm a huge fan of Tomokaze Kamiya's artwork. One of my favorites they've done was, uh, I believe it was the Slow King, the Galarian Slow King V uh, alt art. All right, here we go. Next pack. Oh, we got Flittle. Is this a sign? Is this a sign that I'm, I'm you know, I'm chosen to play the Espathor deck at Baltimore Regionals? Ooh, there's the Espathra right there. Although that one's like the worst Espathra you can play. Bruh. There's much better Espathras. All right, we got Metatite. Oh, <gasps> yo, let's go. Oh my goodness. We got the chase card in the set. The special illustration rare, Terrapagos or Terrapagos EX. Yo, let's freaking go. What's behind it though? What's behind it too? Just in case there's something cool. We got the Grimmsnarl. All right, get out of here, Grimmsnarl. Get out of here. Ooh. Yo, we pulled it. We pulled it, the chase card of the set, the Terrapagos EX. Yo, that is gorgeous. Oh my lord, oh my wow. Wow, 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 that is so cool. That is so freaking nice. Do I play this in my deck? This is gorgeous, wow, wow. The border complements this like shine on it too so well. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Let me just, I gotta get that, that zoom in action. Yo, take a look at that. How's the how's the centering on the back? Oh, oh, okay. That's actually pretty nicely centered too. Wow, 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 we. That is freaking dope. Okay, all right. Wow, wow. All right, we're gonna sleeve this bad boy up. We are not gonna take any risk at all. We're gonna make sure Terrapagos is safe. And uh, okay, okay, okay. There we go and into the sleeve it goes. Oh, that is nice. That is so beautiful. The detail on this card is insane too. Oh my God, I can't believe we pulled it. I can't believe we pulled it. And we're, we're at like the second or third pack into the Elite Trainer box. That is incredible. Okay, okay, cool. We'll put it down for now. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. The show must go on. Oh man, it doesn't get better than that though. It really, it really doesn't get better than that. We got Meryl, we got Rhyhorn, Ponyta, the rest of this elite trainer box could just be a bunch of bulk and I would still be more than happy. We got a Lapras and a Bufalant Hollow Rare. And that Bufalant is actually a Pokemon I've seen some people play in the uh, the Terpagos EX deck as well. All right, next pack, here we go. 
I'd man, oh man, I'd, uh, can we pull anything else? Like, would that mean we're just not gonna get anything else from this uh, Elite Trainer box? I don't know, I don't wanna jinx it, but honestly, I'm so, so happy after that pack right there. We got Crabrawler, we got Joltik Reverse Hollow. That is nice too, that's a really, like this, the car, this Pokemon as a Reverse Hollow, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the stuff. Rhyperior Hollow Rare. All right, we got the Cinderace art next. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Uh, whenever I see Cinderace too, it also just remind me of my youth, my, my soccer, my football, my football days. I grew up playing soccer and uh, my first word ever was actually ball. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I haven't played too much soccer in forever. Adidas gifted me a whole bunch of soccer gear as well when I was doing a lot of sneaker content back in the day. We got Applin, we got Kofu, and a Alchemy Hollow Rare. Nice artwork out of that one right there. We got three more packs remaining from the Elite Trainer Box. Here we go. Oh man, oh man. What I'm still I'm still feeling like I'm on Cloud9 after getting that special illustration rare Terrapagos EX. We got Pommy, Slow King. Oh, I like that artwork. It's pretty cute. Jirachi, this artwork is also phenomenal. Electivire. Iron Boulder. And a Ponyta, all right, followed by a Hollow Rare Dredna. Dredna, ugh, Dredna is like the this Blastoise from Wish. The Blastoise, oh, I guess no one really shops on Wish anymore. I guess it's Timu. Bruh. It's Blastoise from Timu. <laughs> all right, we got Hoot Hoot. Ooh, look at that artwork. And the way the Gengar is right behind it too looks really, really nice. All right, we got Impendimp, Tauros, a Crab Brawler, Coridon, Tornadus, Frogadier, Pancham, Togedemaru, I always love saying that name, Togedemaru, and a Medicham EX. It's been a while since we've seen a competitive Medicham. I think last time we had the Medicham V with the uh, with the cool attack that would uh, let you take an extra turn Yoga Lupin. That was in my Meowskarada deck. And with the new A spec that we pulled earlier, that special tree, I am gonna try and make that work for the Meowskarada deck. I know I've been neglecting Meowskarada, and uh, we're at Meowskarada. We're gonna come back. We're, we're gonna try and we're gonna try and start the Miascarada Monday series on the channel. So if that interests you, subscribe. We got Celebi, Togedemaru, Cyclazar, Revavroom, and a Lapras EX to round out the Elite Trainer Box. That's really pure, uh, pretty, really pretty as well. It looks like Lapras is spitting out these gems at you. It looks kind of goofy. It's like Whoa. I'm not gonna even. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do it. But uh. But yeah. Yeah. That is. That looks gorgeous. This, I know this card's gonna be so dirt cheap too. It's only gonna be like a dollar or two at most, but this Lapras is really, really nice. And one thing to note, it is an ice type Pokemon. We have the weakness to steel. So Maridon will not be able to easily, well, Maridon EX can one shot it, but Raikou might have a harder time. But honestly, now that I think about it with the new stadium, Raikou probably wouldn't struggle taking down a Lapras. And talking about all these electric Pokemon or lightning, well, you look at that, we got a lightning energy too. All right, so what's left? We got six blister packs here. And we also got all these like blister packs with the check lane stuff and the three packs so we can kind of do a 6v6 battle right now and then we can close it out with the booster box let's have some fun and take a look at these really nice promos that they include for these check lanes and see if we can pull some heat out of these as well and if i can open this thing i hate how sometimes it's just a little bit of a struggle to get these open here is the porygon 2 hollow promo they have included for the check lane blister pretty cool promo i like porygon porygon's nice i like him we got the code card as well dragonite coin it's a jumbo dragonite coin both of the check lane blisters use this exact coin and then on to our first pack for the blister packs let's see if we can pull some heat out of just the one single pack here we got Nimble, Slowpoke looks so goofy. They got Froki, Lediba, Swalot. The artwork is so similar to the illustration rare as well. It's just munching on food in the illustration rare. We got Mewtwo, Pangoro, Lechonk, the Chonky Chonk, Glass Trumpet, nice, Reverse Hollow, Max Variety so far, I believe. And a Rhyperior Hollow rare. Before we see a blister pack, let's see if we can pull some heat out of this. Here is a look at the horsey that's included for the check lane blister. This is gorgeous. This is really, really pretty. I like the way the galaxy or cosmos hollow foil is on this card. The same Dragonite coin once again. Code card. And we got the Lapras pack art for this one here. All right. Will this be better than the Rhyperior hollow? That's uh, should be pretty easy to beat. We got Drifloon, Clink, Luminion, Lacey, Rapidash, Lechonk, Palmy, 
and a Kling Klang Hollow Rare. And again, y'all, don't forget to enter the giveaway for this video. We're giving away all the promo cards from Stellar Crown. So these are gonna be included in that giveaway. Next up, we got the three pack of blisters. We'll start with the uh, Latias one first. I've always said Latias, and some people are offended by that. Is it Latias, Latias? I say ass, like like booty, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure. All right, let's just get these packs out of here. Three pack blisters are usually pretty good to me. Here is a look at the Latias Hollow promo. Really nice as well. I'm so happy they went for this Cosmos Hollow foil pattern for all the promos uh, going forward. A really, really nice card. Code card, three packs from the Latias three pack of blister. Can we pull some heat? Usually these packs, these three packs, usually come, uh, come packing with something good. All right, we got Electabuzz. Comfe, Double, Swalot, Mewtwo, Ledian Reverse, a Kofu Reverse, and a Cradilly Hollow Rare. Second pack, we got the Galvantula pack art this time. Galvantula is a really, really nice card as well. Like the, the special illustration versions and stuff, they look really nice. And so is the Joltic illustration rare too. That card is really nice. All right, we got Varum, Lilip, Pommy, Fletching, Akaberry, Vikavolt, Azumarill, oh, there we go. Grand Tree A spec, not bad. A Lapras Reverse, and a Rhyperior Hollow Rare. Definitely happy to see another Grand Tree, although I probably just need one, so we'll throw this onto my eBay store. And now onto the last pack of the three packs in total for this three pack blister. And we'll get to the second three pack blister up next. All right, we got Low Kicks, Charcadet, Cyclazar, Medicham, Azumarill, Reshiram, Luminion, Glamiao, a Joltik, that looks really cool, that's a reverse holo, and a Galvantula EX. Hey, we got like a themed pack. That's actually really cool. I like that. And this is a card I am hunting for because uh, I do want to play a deck with Galvantula EX as well. Works well with Maridon. You can always tandem unit the Joltiks and then in the next turn, set up the Galvantula and uh, start spitting some webs at them. The charged webs in this case. Here's the next Stellar Crown three pack blister featuring the Tinkaton Hollow promo. Tinkaton Hollow promo, pretty nice. And I believe this has its own unique attack as well compared to the Tinkatons of the past. I like Tinkaton. Tinkaton's pretty awesome. And then of course there's a code card you can redeem online. Three packs of Stellar Crown. Let's see if Tinkaton is going to bless our opening today. Oh my gosh, I just, I, uh, this is a PSA 1, whatever it is. I just, I want to destroy that pack. We got Grubbin, Grievard, Joltik, Toad School, Sloking, Celebi, Lantern, Riolu, Froki, and a Noctowl Hollow Rare. Second pack, we got the Galvantula pack art. If we get a full play set of Galvantulas, I'll be actually pretty happy about that. I wouldn't mind building a Galvantula deck uh, right away for Stellar Crown, because it could be a really fun deck. We got Perugly, Celebi, Electivire, Jirachi, Grubbin, a Morgrim, and Kling Clan. Last pack magic, hopefully Cinderace can come through for us because this three pack blister ain't that good. All right, we got Fan Rotom. Take this out of your bulk too. Some decks will be using that. We got Mindfu, Mo Rotom. That looks goofy. Score Bunny, Kofu, Mewtwo, Lacey, Lady Ba, a Glass Trumpet. Very nice. And a Iron Boulder. All right, next up we have these six blister packs right here. And Manta Trading does this like sale where it's buy five, get one free for all the blister packs. So that's why we got six here in total. And we'll start off with the Terrapagos booster packs up first. Let's see if we can get some more Terrapagos from these packs. We got Grivar to kick things off. Joltik, Toad School, Chinchu, Frogadier, Driftblim, Gravity Gemstone, Medicham Reverse, a Tortuga, and a Kling Klang Hollow Rare. Next blister pack, here we go. And we got the Lapras pack guy this time. Lapras is kind of a, I, I don't think it's gonna make too much of an impact for, for Stellar Crown's meta. They got Bombardier, Electabuzz, Lechonk. Ooh, I did two cards there by accident. The card that fell was a Raboot. Yeah, Raboot right there. We got Reshiram, Swalot, a Mewtwo Reverse Hollow, Carcactus, Carcosta, Carcosta, and a Cinderace EX. Not too shabby, I'll take that. And then onto the last Terrapagos EX, or Terrapagos Blister Pack. Another Lapras art. Will we get a Lapras? Here we go. We got ourselves a Wooloo, Finneon, Applin, Fletchling, Frogadier, Pangoro, Celebi, 
a Tornadus Reverse, Briar Reverse, and a Grimmsnarl Hollow. Next up, we got the Cinderace Blister Packs. We got three in total. Let's see if we can pull some more Cinder Aces. Cinder Aces? It sounds funny. Cinder Aces. Cinder Eye? It's like one of those one of those Pokemon where if it's more than one, it's gonna be a different thing. All right, we got Rhyhorn, Crabominable, Talonflame, a Salazzle, Mindfu, Bombardier, and a Iron Boulder. Cinderace part two, here we go. This time with the Terpagos pack art. It's like giving us the reverse of uh, of the actual blister pack art. All right, we got Turtonator, Impendimp, Drifloon. Oh, that's some, that's some cool funky artwork. We got Ponyta, oh, that's really nice too. Crabominable, Glass Trumpet, take it out your bulk. Very good card. Talonflame, Grievard Reverse, a Rev of Room, and a Rhyperior Hollow. Now onto the last blister pack for Team Cinderace. Here we go. Hey, Cinderace pack our inside. Surely this is a sh shine, a sign, a sign. We're gonna get some fire. We got Low Kicks, Charcadet, Cyclazar, Medicham, Lantern, Slowking, Jirachi. Ooh, that is a really cute Eevee Reverse Hollow. Big fan, big fan of that one. That's nice. A Clang and a. Gargankle EX. This one, this one's not too crazy of a pull, but definitely a card I want to experiment with. 340 HP is a tank and it has grass weakness, which isn't something that comes up too often. So Gargankle will be one of those fun like rogue decks I'm gonna try and experiment with uh, in the Stellar Crown format. All right, y'all, it's that time. We have the full Stellar Crown 36 pack booster box right here. If you're skipping forward into the video, uh, grab a snack here and grab a water break, grab a washroom break, do whatever you do what you gotta do or feel free to uh, check out another video and then come back to this one later on but here we go let's see if the stellar crown booster box is going to be loaded with a ton of heat and if we can get some first pack magic we'll do the right hand side first and let's see what we can get oh my goodness the last 36 out of 65 packs that we have to do we got fiddo chart cadet clang cyclazar Talonflame, Kofu, Mewtwo, and Eevee, a absolutely beautiful Eevee. Ooh, yo, let's go. The Bulbasaur illustration rare. That is gorgeous. And there's another card behind it, but yo, look at that. Oh, we got the Pidgey here too, just vibing. Oh, this is so beautiful. And a Archaladon. Oh, I don't care about that. Bulbasaur, come here, buddy. Oh man, it's so cute. It's not just one Pidgey. There's a second Pidgey just chilling right beside the napping Bulbasaur. And this Bulbasaur just reminds me of my little Rosie just always taking naps. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a huge, huge chase card for this set. I think it is going to be in the top five most expensive, I believe. There's a Squirtle that we really, really want to pull as well. Hopefully we can pull the Squirtle. If not, maybe we tr find someone to trade the Bulbasaur for the Squirtle. If there's, if there's a, a Bulbasaur lover out there, but this is a really, really beautiful way to start off this booster box with a Bulbasaur illustration rare. Talk about first pack magic. All right, all right. Can we keep the, keep the luck train alive? Can we keep it chugging along? We got Chinchu, Tortuga, Espathra, Glamiel, Veluza, Revavroom, Briar. We got Minxiao, Frogadier, and an Iron Boulder, or not reverse, just Hollow Rare. All right, next pack. Here we go, that Bulbasaur is so nice. And if you didn't know, um, they actually had, whatchamacallit, a, a Charmander with a similar kind of like theme to it, the illustration rare, but that became a uh, promo in the Obsidian Flames Elite Trainer Box. So this time around, they just threw them in here as illustration rares for the set. Turtonator and a Greninja EX, which now that I think about it, it makes sense now as to why they have a Venusaur EX in this uh, set along with the Blastoise and that's because they threw in those illustration rares for those Pokemon in the uh, into this set so now it now it's all now it's all coming full circle to me all right we got Yamask, Azumarill, Area Zero Under Depths, Aluminion, ooh Deluxe Bomb as our A spec for the first one in this box a Kling Clang and a Noctowl Okay, this is, I guess, like a, a playable pack right here. <laughs> Deluxe Bomb, I don't know how much play this card is going to see, but shout out to all the homies out there that played Bomberman growing up. I really enjoyed play playing uh, Bomberman. I think Bomberman DX2 was also on like the Xbox 360 Arcade. I grew up play playing uh, Bomberman as well on the NES and uh, in the Philippines too. 
in the in Komotus Islands. Um, we actually had one of the neighborhood arcade cabinets had Bomberman, and I would play so much Bomberman growing up in the Philippines. We got Ledigan, Rapidash, and a Kling Clang Hollow Rare. All right, we're gonna keep it moving on the right hand side. Hopefully, we can pull the bubble or the the Squirtle. I would love to pull both in the same booster box. That would be some really really luck, big luck right there. We got Rapidash, Vicavolt, Deancey, Fletchinder. A Meryl, ooh, that's really cute. And a Zara Aura. Hey, so this is the regular version of the Zara Aura, and this artwork is really nice as well. Definitely a fan of this, but we did get lucky enough to pull the Illustration Rare earlier, so uh, that is gonna be the one we end up using for our decks when we do play that Zara Aura in our, uh, our Maridon deck. And I'm a huge fan of Zara Aura. I've even played the Silver Tempest Zara Aura in my Maridon deck for quite some time. Having the free retreat from that Pokemon, the one attack cost is super useful as well. We got Gravity Gemstone and the Alcremi Hollow Rare. All right, Terrapagos Packart. This will be the one. We get a second. We get a second Terrapagos EX. Here we go. We got Lilip, Bombardier, Electabuzz, Lechonk. Oh, so cute. I love mushrooms too. Me and Lechonk have something in common. We both love mushrooms. We got Akaberry, Crabominable, Nimble, Chinchu, and. Hey, a Lapras full art. Okay, okay, I see you Lapras. There, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. I'll take that. I'm happy about that. Next pack, we got the Garvantula. Galvantula one of those. I think the Joltik though. If I could pick another illustration rare to pull, oops, uh, pull from the set, I would love to get the Joltik illustration rare. That'd make me really happy. All right, we got Crispin. Take this out of your uh, bulk as well. It's one of those cards that I might see some play. We got Eldegoss, Nactowl. Oh! <gasps> Oh, wow. Wow, Dashbun EX Special Illustration Rare. Oh, that pie looks delicious. Oh, it's making me hungry. I could use some apple pie with vanilla ice cream after this. Maybe I go to McDonald's. Dashbun EX, that's beautiful. What's behind it, anything else? Oh, Credily, okay, get out of here, get out of here. Let's just appreciate this Dashbun EX. Yo, that is so nice. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And I got a soft spot for, you know, Fudo and Dash Bun because on the special illustration rare for Maridon, there's a cute little Dash Bun in there as well. Oh my god, this is such a nice pull. Absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, look at the texture too. I love the textures they have on SIRs and it just hits. It just, oh yes, 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 yes. But for real though, looking at this pie is making me, making me quite hungry. It's, it's making me quite hungry. All right, we're gonna put it to the side and keep it going on to the rest of the right hand side. And then once we're done with the right hand side, I'll clean up my desk a little bit because the, the desk is getting really sloppy. So I gotta make sure my desk is in order. And if my desk is in order, my life is in order. And that, that's pretty much a good motto to live by. Carnivine, although my bedroom is an absolute mess right now. My bedroom is, ugh, I, I, uh, it is bad. It is bad. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta lock in. I gotta lock in and clean my bedroom after this. Bruh. All right, we got Perugly. Tortuga, Meltan, Flechinder, a Lantern, Briar, Azumarill, Metatite, and a Grim Snarl Verse with a Gargankle EX. Okay, this is a sign we have to build a Gargankle EX deck. I'm gonna make it happen. We're cooking it up. Gargankle sounds like it's a name of a mouthwash. It really does. It, it, maybe it's because it reminds me of the word gargling. I think that's it. Gargle EX, Turtinator, Toad School, Mewtwo, Celebi, Lacey, Fletchling, Score, a Bunny, and a Dreadnaw. Last voice from Timu. I've actually never bought anything from Timu before. Have you guys bought anything from Timu? I've heard a lot of uh, bad things about Timu. Timu's reached out several times for both my channels to do brand deals, and I just, I, I gotta say no because, uh, I've heard a lot of bad things about them stealing your credit card information and whatnot, and uh, I just know the stuff on Teemu like is pretty low quality. Although I have seen some pretty cool like unofficial bootleg Pokemon deck boxes and sleeves on Teemu, but uh, yeah, I think I'm just too scared to buy on Teemu. Ooh, Terrapagos EX, nice, nice, nice. I know a lot of people are hunting down this card right now. Uh, it's gonna be quite playable, and uh, it is like the big, the big Pokemon for the set. I think they're like 25, 30 dollars Canadian, maybe 20, 25 US. But Terrapagos EX, very happy we got two of these now from our big opening in uh, in general. We got the SIR and now that one. And I'm not sure how many you need to build or need to have to build the deck. I'm, I'm sure it's at least three minimum, um, but if it's four, that'd be, that'd be a lot, but maybe three. 
I mean, it is a basic, which is really, really nice. So maybe we don't need to have four. But uh, but yeah, I'll have to look into it. Terrapago CX, another another deck that we're going to build on the channel. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Squirtle, my boy. My boy Squirtle. Oh, my favorite Pokemon starter of all time. What's behind it, though? Anything else? All right, we got the Melmetal. And I'm happy. We we can end the video here. Even though there's like a bajillion more packs left to go. We pulled both the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle from the same booster box. That is insanely, insanely lucky. Let's just take a second to appreciate this Squirtle. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is permanently stuck in my collection. It will never leave my collection. Squirtle, you guys know, has a very, very special place in my heart. So, uh, very, very happy to get the Squirtle. And the Pidgeys, there's a whole bunch of Pidgeys too. Just like in the Bulbasaur artwork, how there's a bunch of Pidgeys, the Pidgeys came to also play with the Squirtle. And I feel like the Charmander also had some Pidgeys as well. So I'll have the, the Charmander on the left-hand side of the screen so you can see all three of these cards side by side. But yo, that is dope. That is really, really awesome. We were able to get both of these. These are like the big chase cards for illustration rares, I believe, from the set in the... Uh, in this booster box so very very excited to very just happy to have these that's awesome all right we got two more packs left for the right hand side to go and it'd be kind of cool if we pulled a blastoise yeah because we could update the uh the blastoises in my blastoise deck with those ones instead the ones from 151 we got toad scroll kofu mine xiao mean xiao fan rotom archalodon and a bufflant hollow rare and we got, oh, actually, there was more than more than two packs left on the right-hand side. Three in total left here. We go. But I think, I swear, we've probably used up all of our luck. We pulled so much good stuff from this booster box. If we pull anything else, that is just going to be the cherry, the icing, the gravy on top for, not all three, though. If it was all three, that'd be kind of kind of gross. Rhyperior. All right. Next pack. Here we go. Galvantula. I saw a spider the other day crawling on my wall. And uh, it, it's... I know spiders scare a lot of people. Spiders don't scare me, but the idea of a spider crawling into my mouth or ear as I sleep is is terrifying. I know some people like uh, <laughs> like my girlfriend Natty. She's not gonna sleep. She if there's a spider in her bedroom, she has to kill. Oh, let's go, a briar. Is this the the illustration rare or full art? No, this is the full art. This is the full art because you can tell by the texture. Very, very nice briar right there. That's nice. There we go. W. Oh, yes. Uh, but yeah, if there's a spider in her bedroom, she's not going to sleep in her bedroom until she kills it or she can confirm it's out. Uh, so she, it, it's, it's pretty funny. It's pretty, her reactions are pretty great. I know some people are just terrified. Like, is it, there's like a, a phobia, arachnophobia. Is that it? When you're, you're like, you're like mega scared of uh, spiders. Yo, let's go. Area zero under depth gold card. Back to back right after the briar. That is insane. That is, there's, there it is in the background. There it is in the background. That is awesome. That is so good. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Yo, this, this booster box is cracked. Yo, shout out to Manta Trading. They, uh, they blessed this one with some good luck. Use code SneakerTalkTCG at mantatrading.com for 5% off your Pokemon cards. It does support the channel as well. But the way the way these cards are getting pulled, it's going to support my decks so much. We got Pangoro. We got Lettuce Boy. Grubbin. Salandit. And a Raging Bolt. Hey, this is the first Raging Bolt we've pulled in the entire video. Like, at all. Completely. That, that's It took a while to get the Bolt. The big Bolty Boy. But I'm glad we got it. I know that uh, you, you're going to need to have at least a one prize attacker at some point in your Raging Bolt decks. Right now, that Raging Bolt might be the ideal one to use. All right, we got Lantern, Briar, Lechonk, Melmetal. The next pack, here we go, Garvantula time. I want to see a Joltik. I don't even I don't even need to see the, the really cool Garvantula. I just want the Joltik. That Joltik, when I saw that Joltik, so many people, so many people on Twitter and on Instagram, they were tagging me. They're like, yo. This Joltik, is it going to make its way into Maridon? And I can tell you, there is definitely a world where the Joltik and the Garvantula make a way into Maridon. It's going to be its own kind of deck, potentially, or you might just do a 1-1 uh, line for it, but it's really hard to say. It's it's hard to say. I haven't really spoiled my uh, myself by looking at too many of the Japanese lists list that have been popping off. I kind of really like to just do it do it myself and, and not take inspiration from the Japanese list, but we're going to look at some Japanese lists at some point. 
We got Antique Cover Fossil. And a Melmetal EX. Melmetal, a, uh, a Pokemon that doesn't get too much competitive love. I think the last time there was like a competitive Melmetal was the Melmetal and Lucario GX Tag Team. And uh, they had a pretty cool, it was a pretty good card. It was a pretty cool card. It was like a defensive, defensive metal build. All right, next pack, here we go. That Melmetal though is not that great. I don't think Melmetal is gonna see much play. Yeah, but you might just see me make a meme deck out of it. I still have to figure out, you know, which which rogue decks and which like bad decks are we gonna build from Stellar Crown? Cause there's a good amount of cards from Stellar Crown that we can play and tinker with. Knock Towel and that Knock Towel, the the uh, the Hoo Hoot and Knock Towel combo, those Pokemon might seek its way or seep its way into a bunch of decks too. All right, we got Trucketa, Taklang, Cyclazar, Marowak. Ooh, we haven't seen that Marowak very often, I think. Oh, <gasps> there is our second Ace spec for the booster box. We got Grand Tree. Area zero under depths and a Ledian. Hey, there we go. This is our third Grand Tree. Is this gonna be the most easy or easiest to pull uh, a spec out of Stellar Crown? It just it just might be. It just might be. But it does. It definitely makes playing some stage two decks a lot more fun because it's gonna help with consistency. You're probably gonna want to play uh, what you call it, Chorus's Tenacity, so you can search out your. Uh, your a spec stadium that's definitely a combination i expect to see a lot of players adapt for their uh decks that do run the tree as their stadium of choice we got alchemy hollow rare all right we're halfway into the left hand side and this has been so much fun this has been so much fun opening up all of these packs so i just want to thank you guys for hanging out with your boy chilling enjoying some pokemon with me and if you are new to the channel and you don't really play like, oh, let's go, Zero Aura, we got another one. Oh, this is so sick. There's a world where we play both of these illustration rare Zero Auras in the same uh, deck. That is awesome. That is freaking dope and Rhyperior. But as I was saying, um, if you don't play the Pokemon trading card game, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can just play Pokemon trading card game live and you can learn in about an hour or two. Uh, and you can get more value out of your Pokemon cards. It's just it's a lot more fun Trust me when you when you play the game you're already collecting cards for you get extra value out of these cards You can make memories have sentimental value out of certain cards and uh, it just it's it's I, I, I've really been enjoying the hobby a lot more since I really really got into uh, to playing and I actually taught my uh, my younger sister who's like 25 I think I taught her how to play Pokemon the other we uh, other day over at the cottage um, I taught her how to play using the Tinkaton EX starter deck, and I was playing the, I believe, Lucario EX starter deck. And uh, I don't think she's going to want to play with me again. She wasn't too crazy about it. But it was fun, you know, teaching my younger sister how to play. Now she knows. Now she knows. Pangoro, Dubwool, Electabuzz, and a Dash Bun EX. Hey, we got another Dash Bun. I guess... I guess we do make a Dash Bun deck for fun, maybe as like a YouTube short or something, uh, and, and get some more value out of these special illustration rares that we've pulled. Uh, but there we go, there we go, Dash Bun, Dash Bun EX. Has a unique ability, it heals your Pokemon, but it has to discard the energies off of it to ba balance it out a little bit. Although, um, Dash Bun EX, because the attack is double colorless, this does mean that you could sneak in potentially Dash Bun EX into quite a few decks uh, that could take advantage of the fact that you don't need to have psychic energies to attack with a dash bun so there is a world where dash bunny x sees some play in particular decks that evolve uh maybe those big buff buffed up ones like uh i think maybe what is it blissey ex i think blissey ex might have some room for that although you do have sharon's care as a supporter um, but there's a world you know where dash bunny x is seen as a 1-1 or a 2-2 tech in particular decks we got fido right here as well Clink, oh, oh, I just dropped my cards. And a uh, Archalodon, that was the card. All right, how many packs we got left, y'all? We got Uno, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more packs of Stellar Crown. All right, Whew, oh my gosh, we're almost there. And we've almost been recording for almost an hour. I'm, I'm not sure if we're gonna hit an hour mark for this video, we just might. Probably less, we might hit just under an hour. But, uh, but yeah, if you guys like long videos like this where we just hang out and open an insane amount of booster packs, then subscribe, hit that like button. Hit that like button the most. That's, that's the one thing. You don't have to subscribe, but you hitting the like button lets me know you like these longer openings. And then Grimmsnarl Hollow. And we can do more of them in the future. All right, we got Stellar Crown, Cinderace pack art up next. Here we go. I hope Cinderace actually becomes viable. 
because I love I love Cinderace. It's my I believe it was my uh, my Pokemon of choice for Pokemon Sword and Shield. All right, Crispin, Drifblim, Revavroom, Tauros, a Palmy, and a Cinderace. Will you look at that? Will you look at that? That's pretty pretty fitting. I like that. That's dope. The attack's actually really cool too. Flare Strike 280. 280 knockout of V-Star Pokemon. Wacha! Get out of here. Nice. That is that is the lowest rarity of Cinderace EX that you can pull. Alright. I think the gold version. They took the gold version out and they're pulling it in there. They're, they're push, pushing it into the uh, Terrapagos EX Ultra Premium Collection. Which I'm like, bro, why would they do that? Just leave it in the set. But uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of weird that they did that. We got Buffalant. But we will be opening up a Terrapagos Ultra Premium Collection uh, box on the channel. And uh, if we hit 50,000 subscribers uh, by like this fall, I think in October, that might be what we give away for 50,000 subscribers, the new Ultras Premium Collection. So if you want to help me get to my goal of 50,000 subscribers by the end of October, feel free to hit that red button down below. But if you don't, if you don't, I won't feel uh, I won't feel bad. No hard feelings. We got Raging Bolt. Very nice reverse holo. I actually like the reverse holo more than the, the holo for this one. The room. And another Raging Bolt. How fitting. Double Raging Bolt booster pack. Three more packs remaining. Let's see if we can get some more hits out of these. But we've we've gotten so lucky this entire video. I can't complain at all. All right, we got Duraludon, Perugly, Tortuga, Meltan, Lantern, Jirachi, Dula, Sloking, Applin, Lantern, and a Iron Boulder. Cinderace pack art up next. And of course, if you guys want to binge watch some more Pokemon content, I'll have some videos on screen. Recommended you guys check those out. Or you can check out the Japan vlog uh, one that we did for the Pokemon channel here. I'll have that recommended as well. I'll be uploading the rest of those Japan vlogs when I come back from Baltimore. Those those have been sitting on my computer for like almost over almost two years now because that trip was like 2022. December 2022 is when I went. Bruh. Um, so we'll be kind of daily vlogging in Japan, but it's going to be a little bit old. We were hunting, I believe, it was like the Crown Zenith version uh, in Japan at the time. Uh, anyways, here we go. Last pack magic. We got Fido, Electivire. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for this video. And again, click on screen to hang out some more and hit that like button as well. We got Glass Trumpets and a... Oh, would you love me if I was still a worm? EX. And honestly, I don't think I would love a worm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.